Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. It's 2023, spring is with us, photography is in the air, and I'm really excited to kick off this year's series with a very special developer that I've had a love affair with for a very long time. Those of you who have bought my book will know what I'm talking about. For the rest of you, let me reveal what the next two or three videos are going to be about. It's this developer. Oh, you can't see the label. And the developer I'm talking about is Rodinal. I've been using this since the 1970s. I've had a love affair with it ever since. It's a remarkable developer, and I'd be remiss if I didn't cover it on my channel. Now today I'm going to use a standard development with this developer and we'll talk about that shortly. But before I do that, let me just talk about the developer itself because Rodinal has some very special properties that I want to talk about. It's a fine grain developer and that's important to know, but it's real grain. And what I mean by that is it doesn't mask the grain in any way. This is real grain. So if you use it with a fine grain film, you're going to get fine grain. And if you use it with a faster film, you're going to get chunky grain. This is the grain that the manufacturer put into the film. And Rodinal is honest about that. It's real. This makes it a bit of a Marmite developer because a lot of photographers don't like to use it because they don't like grain. And I'm not sure why they don't like grain. Because grain is the essence of black and white darkroom photography, film photography. It's the film is made of grain. I mean, that's what we see in our photographs. So if you're doing black and white film photography, give this a try because I think you might fall in love with it like I did. So it's got a couple of tricks that we want to talk about before I start development. And the first one is that it has this thing called the Rodinal Glow. And what that is, is the highlights of your photograph will stand out and the shadows are very nice and muted. And what this creates is this wonderful curve, this wonderful contrast in your photographs. It's almost as though the zone four and below shadows have been pulled down a little bit in Photoshop and the zone seven and above highlights have been pushed up a little bit in Photoshop. And you get this lovely glow from Rodinal that you don't get from any other developer that I know. It's also an acuteness developer, which means it can be very sharp. But really, it's only an acuteness developer at 1 plus 50 and above. So today we're going to be using 1 plus 50 with the film. I'll talk about that shortly. But I also use this developer at 1 plus 75 and 1 plus 100. And finally, one of the great tricks of this developer is it's a superb stand developer. So if you like the idea of stand development, if you like the idea of compensation and being able to compensate for all the different types of photographs that you may have on your roll of film, this is a good one to try. Highly recommended. So let's get on with the development. And later on, I'm going to show you the negatives. So here I have a Pan-F film that I shot at ISO 40. And the reason I shot it at 40 is because I think Rodnell gives you box speed or slightly under box speed at the higher dilutions. I'm going to develop this Pan-F in Rodnell 1 plus 50. And I'm going to develop it for 10 minutes and I'm going to use Ilford agitation. So I'll take you through that now. Here I have 500 milliliters of 20 centigrade water and I'm going to measure my Rodinal out into this now. So here it is. And I don't know if you can hear this. Probably not, but I can hear crystals in the bottom of this canister. This is about four years old, is this canister. In fact, it says it's manufactured in March 2019. So it's over four years old, look at that. And it works perfectly. It lasts and lasts and lasts, does Rodinal. 
So if I'm going to develop at 1 plus 50, I need 10 milliliters of rodinal to go into this 500 milliliters of water. So let me just measure that out here in this graduate. There we are, that's 10, beautiful. Sure the top's on properly. So that's prepared. Over here I have some alkali stop and alkali fix. And it, I'm using alkali only because I like to use alkali with my films now. Um, the fix is especially useful because it washes out very quickly. Uh, so it's more archival, easier to create archival negatives. So here we're ready. We've got our film ready in here. Um, I've got my timer already here. So we'll be doing this 10 minute development. So I'll pop this in. Now, when you buy Rodinol new, it's not usually this color, but it, as it ages, it turns this kind of reddy brown color. Just watch that there. There we are. And there's no rush with Rodinol. It, it doesn't go bad quickly once it's in dilution, at least not in the few minutes that it's going to take me now just to get this, uh, this development going. All right, so I'm all prepared. Uh, here we go. And I'm going to use the whole 500 milliliters. And there's something you need to know, and that is for each film, the minimum amount of rodinal you should use is 2.5 milliliters. So if I use 500 mil with every type of film, from 35 millimeter to 120, even from 1 plus 50 to 1 plus 100, I'll always have at least 2.5 milliliters of neat rodinal for the development. Um, so I've added 10 milliliters to this 500, and that's 1 plus 50. If I added 7.5 milliliters to 500, it would be 1 plus 75. And if I added only 5 milliliters of rodinal to this 500, it would be 1 plus 100. So I'll put those up on the screen. It's very easy to remember your dilutions with rodinal. All right, so we've got everything at temperature. I haven't pre-soaked this film. No need to pre-soak. And I just pop it in. Start the timer. Pop the top on. And start my gentle agitations. We want to give it a nice gentle agitation for the first 30 seconds and make sure that film is really well soaked evenly with developer and that the developer is fully mixed together. After 30 seconds, I'm going to knock it twice quite hard. Did you see that? To get any bubbles off that film and any that might be sitting at the top of the reel to come through the reel. And here's a little trick I've talked about before, but I want to remind you, although I'm going to use Ilford agitation, which is to agitate for 10 seconds every minute, you'll notice that I will agitate now after only the first minute. So that's 30 seconds after my initial agitations. And what I find this does with all my development is it stops those bubbles adhering. So if there was any bubbles at all, it's now got rid of them completely and will give me much more even development. It's in this very early stage of development that I believe most of the uneven development happens. As the film later on is in the developer later on, there's less chance of uneven development because everything is working nice and smoothly inside there. But it's that first minute that I think is crucial. So just to recap, agitate for that first 30 seconds, then wait till the top of the minute and give it another 10 seconds and start your Ilford uh, agitation uh, system. So here we are, we're at two minutes now, and I'm going to give it another 10 seconds of gentle but firm agitation. 
There we are. And always tap, tap. Always tap to make sure those bubbles are released. All right. Well, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this development. So we'll fast forward now and we'll have a look at the negatives. So here are the negatives. Um, they're nice and contrasty without being overdeveloped. I think that that 10 minutes with Panef is a really nice time for OnePlus 50. And they're super sharp. I've been having a look at them with the loop and they are beautiful and sharp and the grain is nice. So I think the best thing for me to do now um, is to scan these in and let you have a look at the scanned photograph before I actually go ahead and start to print one of these for you. I've scanned in the negatives and I've just picked a random one here. They're all pretty much the same. I shot uh, a short strip um, of these flowers and just um, arranged very slightly different angles of view um, to see which I like the most. But I just want to show you this. Um, and if we just zoom in here, I want to show you this flower. This is the subject. This is what I focused on. And look how sharp that is. It's incredible. More so when you see that if we scan down here in Lightroom, I have not used any sharpening at all. There's none. Zero. So this is a straight scan. There's no adjustments at all. And it is sharp as a pin. And the reason for that is because of Rodnell's acutance. It's a very high acutance developer. And there's only probably one sharper developer I know, and that's Dizactyl. This is so sharp, it's beautiful. And I really like the tonality of this image. You might be able to actually see, if you look carefully down these lines here and this line here, you might be able to see a dark line running up them. And that is acutance. You're actually seeing lines of acutance there. So it's a superb developer for sharpness. And if you look at that, there's a lovely rendition of tonality. And you might be able to see but the highlights on these flowers are bouncing off. They are glowing. And this is the Rodinal glow. This is what I was talking about that Rodnell gives you. Now, don't forget, this is Pan F. I run it through at 40 ISO, and you're seeing the real grain of Pan F. And I think, I'm zoomed in at 100% now, I think that that's pretty good. There's no obnoxious grain there at all. So if people tell you that Rodinell is too grainy, take that with a pinch of salt, because honestly, look at that. It's not too grainy at all. Um, it's very nice with FP4 as well. I really like it with that film. So there you are. That's what the negative looks like without any adjustments at all. And um, now I'm going to print one of these for you just so you can see what a print looks like. Of course, next week we're going to look deeper into Rodinal and using it. I'm going to look more into dilutions and the effects those dilutions have on your final product. So. Um, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Let me get back to my dishes and get one of these printed off so you can take a look at that. And here is the photograph. And if I don't mind saying so myself, it's stunning. The glow, the lighting is beautiful. It's only ordinary sunlight, but the way Rodinal shows that lighting in a print is gorgeous. I love that glowing highlights and that gorgeous shadows. I placed these shadows here with a spot meter. I placed them into zone three. So I let the developer take care of the highlights. Let me just hold that close so you can see how sharp that flower is. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's Mackey lines along the sides of these grasses here, which help to create more visual sharpness to the image. This is a superb developer. It's excellent with older cameras and older lenses because it sharpens everything up and increases the contrast 
of older lenses that aren't as well covered as modern lenses are, that don't have the same quality coatings. It's a lovely, lovely developer and I'm so glad I could show you this. So thank you all for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Become a patron. It's my patrons who support me with these videos. They enable you to watch these videos. So become a patron. Help everybody out. This is great. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week where we'll talk more about Rodinol and talk more about getting even more sharpness and even more compensation. Thanks for watching. Happy 2023.